What's up, everybody? My name is Prime Excellence here. Who is ready for Dragon Ball Spark and Zero? I know I am. Now, this is going to be a quick video just to basically discuss some concerns maybe the community have or just some random thoughts that I may have. <laughs> now, a few things. Now, we all know about the character select screen. They say it's not going to be the final version of it once the final game comes out. There might be a few tweaks to it. All I want is the character select screen to basically have the characters all into one slot and then comes up and bam, you can like click on all different characters. Oh, just like a regular BT3. So that being said, hopefully that gets changed. I, I don't know. Um, also with Ultimate Gohan, his burst rush move says, uh, you know, regular BT3 and Dragon Ball Raging Blast. It's, it's been like somewhat different. I mean, it's okay-ish, you know, it's okay. I don't think it's like the best between like B, like BT3 or Raging Blast. So it's, 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 it's fine. Now, that being said, we're still worried about lag, like an online play, will the online play be any good? At this point, I do not think there will be an online beta. I mean, the game's coming out in like less than 50 days. <laughs> I don't know, like between 50 days, can they really like add like significant changes? But who knows? Maybe this next trailer, the boo trailer, and what what's like the boo trailer by the end of like August? Maybe we'll probably get a beta announcement. If we don't get one. This month, I, I don't see it because then it will be September and the game comes out in, in October. So, yeah, I don't think there's going to be a, a beta. Other discussions. <laughs> the uh, Spark and Zero Reddit community, it's, 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 up, it's like a roller coaster. You, you know, you go through ups and downs, go all the way at the top, all the way at the bottom. There's, there's a lot of stuff. I'm pretty like... I'm pretty into it, I would say. Discuss a few things. So if you like, obviously if you're like Spark and Zero, Dragon Ball, stuff like that, you want to like get into that. Especially if you're like an upcoming content creator that wants to like talk about Dragon Ball stuff, it's pretty much you know the core based people that like it. I mean, you can go on Twitter. You know, Twitter have its its own cesspool, and then obviously the YouTubers. So, you, you got different communities, anime in general. It just it's just all over the place. Uh huh. -hmm. Now I I got some concerns for myself. Uh, you might call it coping. I'm going to call it coping. Listen, now listen. GT, look. We don't know what's gonna be after Boo. Everybody's speculating it's going to be a uh, original OG Dragon Ball or Super, okay? Speculating, they might add a little bit more Super characters like Vado, Shampa, Kaba. You know, those three I think they will be in for Super. Then I don't know what else is going to be after that. Oh, a God of Destruction Temple. So that's four, right? They can still add. <laughs> they can still add GT characters. I'm not lying to you. They can still add GT characters. At least three of them will be nice. You know, Bandai. At least at the very least, can you at least confirm they're gonna be a GT? Uh, can you confirm they're gonna be DLC? I I, I mean, I'm kind of coping here. Like at the very least, can you at least confirm? Hey, GT people that wanted GT, it's going to be DLC. So stop crying about it. I'd be like, okay, you know what? Fine. But they never confirmed it. It's kind of much speculation up until this point, until like the last trailer comes out. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm going to stay on this cup train until the very last trailer comes out. So I don't fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to stick with GT. I would love GT to be in the game. I'm just saying. Um... There could be a few changes to animations 
for like certain characters, especially Vegito. Um, people have been online talking about his move set being so fast. <laughs> um, yeah, they can change that. I can already tell you that uh, it looked like Vegito might be a little one of like a, a god, like an A tier character in Sparking. They might change. Uh, I'm guessing like top tier characters would be Vegito. Kid Boo, maybe Kid Boo, because he was top. He was pretty uh, A tier in PT three. I don't know about Cell, could be, but uh, yeah, with no beta coming out, no GT, I'm still holding out hope. And there's definitely a few animations. Oh, I almost forgot. People has been talking about the class system between like beam clashes. I wish they would just get rid of the galaxy breaking cinematic or at the very least can you have it for like certain characters not every character need a galaxy breaking dimension breaking uh, effect when they're going to beam struggle now they they slow down the camera spinning each time but can you at least Change it to where, like, just have it where it's, like, at the location and just struggling. Like, I don't think they're going to get rid of it. It would be nice if they did. But, uh, I don't, I don't think they're going to get rid of it. It sucks, though. But, um, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't have, I have little concerns with Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. But, uh, I, hey, I, I, I hope the online play is going to be good. And, I can't wait until to get into the custom battles. But uh yeah, that's all I have for today. I just wanna come up here and you know rant a little bit to the community. But uh if you have any other uh discussions or concerns of yourself, let me know down in the comments. Uh yeah, this is Prime Excellence. Hopefully hopefully oh also hopefully you enjoy the video. Like for more if you enjoy the content, like for more. I'm def I, I swear to god, once this game comes out, I'm gonna do a lot of custom battles. So if you're already into Spark and Zero or Dragon Ball related or just gaming related or anything in between, subscribe for more. You might like what you find. But this is Prime Excellence. Peace.